Hey everyone, it's Foolsy, and today I'm going to be giving you a little tutorial on how to get the best rendering settings in Cinema 4D. So let's begin. First, you want to obviously open up your Cinema 4D. Now, you get your, you know, blank page, but I was working on this for my plan, and yeah, it looks pretty nice. I have it on the best render setting. So, what you want to do is go to your render settings, and actually, you might want to adjust your render settings before you making your picture, just to have some. I mean, you can while you're making it, but it's just advised that you do it before you start editing anything. So first, you want to go to your output. You want to put your output to 1280 by 720, and make sure it's on pixels. Uh, your resolution, you can stay at 72. Uh, film aspect can be HDTV, uh, 16. 9 and 1.778 you want to keep this at and this depends if you're making a uh, an intro or a video in cinema 4d if not you just want to keep them both at zero uh next you want to go to save and you want to pick like the place where you want to save your file uh the format i highly suggest you choose png it gives you the best quality in picture so pick PNG and then you can pick what bit 18 bit or 16 bit uh, I pick 16 then you want to click alpha and straight channel then multi pass you can just leave that uh, and anti I don't know really how to say it but a lot of lasting <laughs> whatever but you want to change it it might be on geometry or it might be on none but you want to change it the best the minimum level should be one by one in a max. Now, this depends on your computer. If you have a shitty little PC that can't do anything because PCs aren't that good. <laughs> I'm just shit talking PCs right now. But if you have not that good of a computer, you might want to keep it to like four by four or two by two. But if you're running a high power computer, like a Mac or you know a good computer, you can bump it up to eight by eight or sixteen by sixteen, which I do. Um, and then all the rest you can leave the same. Options you can leave the same. Uh, this I was just messing with. And global illumination. This I added on usually these two that I have right here. Uh, stereoscopic and global illumination usually aren't there. Unless you go to effect and you add them. But yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope this taught you how to get the best render quality. Now note, when you are rendering with better quality, it may take longer depending on your computer. If you have a shitty computer, it's going to take longer if you're making the quality better. But luckily for me, I have a Mac, it's really good, really fast, and I don't have to worry about that. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, I really hope it helped you out, and leave a like if it did, or a comment, and, or even subscribe, why the hell not? <laughs> so. Have a nice day everyone and uh, stay cool. <laughs>